What is going on guys? My name is Jesse Eby. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Tuesdays and Fridays at 4 p.m. Eastern, I'll be releasing content in regards to e-commerce, Shopify dropshipping, and everything online entrepreneurship. I wanna give a quick shout out to last week's contest winner on Instagram who won cash money sent straight to her PayPal account. In order to win these random giveaways, be sure you're subscribed to my YouTube and follow me on Instagram with the notification bells set because some of these random contests will be for the first responders. So you wanna be notified as soon as I post something. And uh, don't tell anyone else, but just between you and me, we're gonna have some kind of secret flash giveaways that are gonna pop up, pop up, pop up in the middle of videos and if you follow the instructions you'll be able to win even bigger prizes for those that have not created a shopify store i'm able to offer a 30-day free trial what? that nobody else is able to offer Whoa. it's 30 days instead of 14. the link is in the description i release all this content for free and i'm not charging you a thing and in today's video i want to address an issue that a majority of beginners have. It's something very simple and it's gonna save your ass in the long run if you have this dealt with. So enough rambling, let's go ahead and jump into the Facebook ads beginner valuable content. All right, let's go. <clears throat> all right, all right, let's jump into this. Everybody wants to know information on Facebook ads. But a majority of people that are asking me how to do Facebook ads have not even installed their Facebook Pixel yet. Now, before you think of doing any kind of marketing, whether it's Instagram influencers, Facebook ads, AdWords, anything, before you drive traffic to your store, you need to have the Facebook Pixel installed. You need to have the Facebook Pixel installed. Pixel installed. Pixel installed. I'm gonna go over what it is, how to install it, and why you need it. And don't let me forget, there's gonna be a Chrome extension that we need to install as well. So real quick, why is it called the Facebook Pixel? I've always wondered this and what I've heard is that in the past people online were being tracked by a tiny image on a website, also known as a Pixel, and each time it would load, the site owner would know that that person visited. So what is the Facebook Pixel? It's a code that's in your Facebook Business Manager where you deal with all the Facebook ads that you install on your website. It helps you track conversions from your Facebook ads. It helps you optimize your ads based on the data it collects. And it allows you to, it provides you with information to build targeted audiences for future ads and retarget people that have not bought. Now you see why this is important to have installed before you start running traffic to your store. So when you have visits but no sales, you can retarget them. If you wanna learn kind of the concept of seasoning your pixel so that you can retarget and create lookalike audiences later, check the top right-hand corner now. That goes into the entire concept and it's important to know before you even bother with, with Facebook ads. All right, so I'm gonna go into a little more details of the benefits of the Facebook pixel in regards to Facebook ads. The first thing it allows you to do is it allows you to track conversions. You're able to monitor how people interact with your website after viewing a Facebook ad. You can monitor how people interact with your website even if they don't come from a Facebook ad, as long as they have a Facebook account. If you drive them to your site, the Facebook pixel will collect data so that you could use it in Facebook Ads Manager, Facebook Business Manager, to target them appropriately later. You can even track customers across their devices. For example, what? if you see people visit your site on mobile but switch to desktop to make a purchase, or maybe the other way around, it's just a bunch of information that really allows you to refine your ad strategy. This is a big one because everybody has visits but no sales. It allows you to retarget. So the people that visit your store but, not, but do not purchase something, you could retarget them based on the information that you receive while they are visiting your site. So if you see they, they showed interest in a certain item, you can retarget them on a Facebook ad, offering them incentive 25% off or what have you to come back and go ahead and purchase. I'm sure wow. you guys have always seen on Facebook where you might view a website or a certain item and then suddenly you're getting advertisements on Facebook for that item. That's what this is. They're tracking you with the Facebook pixel so that you could, they could retarget you later. You could create lookalike audience ads. And I've gone into details on this in other videos. Check the video that I mentioned before, and this goes into more detail, but once you have 100 sales on certain items, you can create lookalike audiences to where you can target advertisements 
four people that match the characteristics of the person that purchased from you. Facebook oh, gathers no. people that have similar likes, interests, and demographics to the people that have already interacted with your website. And it really helps you expand your potential customer base. Using the Facebook Pixel just makes your ads more effective by improving the quality of the ads you run by providing you all this information. You're able to improve the targeting of the people who see them. Ooh. And you could use your Facebook Pixel data to ensure your ads are seen by the people who are most likely to take your desired action. The times have changed now and with advertising, it's a lot more powerful. You can show advertisements to people that are actually interested in your product. So it's not such a giant net that you cast to the whole world. You can actually cast to a smaller population and pull in people that are most interested in your product. All with this Facebook Pixel, so you understand why it's so important. All right, so now I wanna show you guys where to find the Pixel in your business manager. All you do is you go to business.facebook.com. Once you create an account, you'll have your personal business manager account, but you'll wanna create one for your actual business page. And you go up here to the hamburger menu, click that and you go over to measure and report and click pixels. And from here, you just go to create pixel and we'll just call it test. And it's about as simple as that. So now the pixel has been created. And for our particular situation, since we're using Shopify, we will click here, use an integration or tag manager. And you go right here and you select Shopify. Go ahead and click continue. You can read through this if you want. And you see right here, your pixel ID. You're gonna copy that and you're gonna go over to your Shopify backend. All right, and once you have the code copied, you come to your Shopify backend, you click on online store, and then you go to preferences. My internet's kind of slow here in Philippines. And you scroll down and you paste that code that we just copied from Business Manager right there and click save. And it does take a while for the pixel to load, but after you install the pixel like that, you will copy the URL from your Shopify store and bring it back to Business Manager. And right here is where you would enter in your URL for your Shopify store and you would click send test traffic to verify that your pixel's installed. And since I just installed it, we're not showing any activity yet, but do give it about a half hour and then it should be rocking and rolling. And that is just as simple as that. Now let's jump into a couple other things that are really important. All right, and just as a bonus guys, you wanna install this Chrome extension and I'll leave the link in the description to go pick this up. But this Facebook Pixel Helper just allows you to verify that your Pixel is indeed working on your Shopify store. And I'm actually gonna adjust the frame here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So the Facebook Pixel Helper is this Chrome extension right here. Now, when it's lit up blue like this, that indicates that the website you're on does indeed have a Facebook Pixel installed. But just for an example, I'll show you a website that does not have a Facebook Pixel installed so you can see the difference. All right, so here you guys, you see on YouTube, this is what it looks like when it's not installed. It's just grayed out. So this can be a good tool to have so that you could verify that the Pixel is indeed installed on your Shopify store. And remember, it does take some time for it to fully load. So give it 30 minutes to an hour before you necessarily check if it's fully installed or not. So that's pretty much it, you guys. It's very simple to install, very simple tool, but very important. Check out my other video that I mentioned before so you could really get an understanding of how the whole marketing concept works. I'm not selling you guys shit. And if you appreciate that, please consider subscribing. I don't need your money, but I do need your support. So drop a like on the video, drop a comment below. This helps show my content to as many people as possible. I'll do my part providing you guys as much valuable content for free as possible if you do your part and engage on my content and share it with people that need to see it. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for stopping by. Be sure to subscribe. Peace out.